Hi guys and welcome to another NBT preparation video. Today is going to be the first in our series of AQL NBT past paper questions. We've been doing a lot of the maths NBT questions. Um, for those of you are, who are new, uh, you will see, I'm just going to share our, uh, one of our videos with you quickly. So, uh, a lot of guys ask, you know, are these the actual questions that you'll be getting? And the short answer is yes. Uh, the long answer is that we don't know exactly which questions will come up um, in your test um, because they have a huge database of questions. And we obviously have, um, from speaking to people who've written the exam and all that sort of stuff, we've compiled a lot of past paper questions. Um, and so, as you can see here, um, one of the... Uh, Kalyani Mudli said, thank you so much. I wrote my MBTs today and literally most of the stuff you covered came up exactly uh, as is. Um, and then under that, I'm here to brag that I wrote my MBT and 30% of the questions were covered in this playlist. So we've got everything from most of the 30%, so it just depends. But we have a huge database of questions and we're going to keep making content. So please, uh, if you want to, uh, help us out. It doesn't cost you anything. Please just subscribe now to our channel. Just click subscribe. Uh, and uh, as you can see here, we are up to 6,000 subscribers, which is fantastic. So thanks very much. And without you subscribing and supporting the channel, we wouldn't be able to do any of this. Okay, so um, if you go to uh, our channel, all of the videos are on a playlist. Um, so we've got a playlist here, uh, like this. Um, MBT National Benchmark Test Playlist. There's 40 videos here at the moment. This is our max. Uh, at the moment, because this is the first video for the um, AQL, um, that will be um, added to this playlist here. We have uh, three videos at the moment. This is a new series where we've compile a lot more questions and that's going to help you out. So without further ado, let's get into the questions. All right. Okay, so they're all going to be multiple choice questions because it's much easier for them to mark because they don't actually mark it um, themselves for the computer uh, will mark these uh, questions that you uh, answer. So this is uh, part A, uh, which is the scrambled text. Now, I've already done quite a lot of uh, admin uh, in this video. So I think in the next video, I'll, I'll go through um, exactly what's in the um, tests. But for now, let's just start on section A, which is scrambled text. So what this is, is... Um, You've got uh, five sentences, six sentences sometimes, which are in uh, random order, and you have to figure out which uh, order to put them in. Um, so if you look at the uh, one, two, three, four, five, it asks you which sentence is first. So you have to read through the five sentences and then figure out uh, which one's going to be first. So let's go through them. Uh, one range of, oh, by the way, uh, it's going to take a bit of time for me, especially with this English section, to read through the different questions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post a link in the video to um, our Smart Prep. Uh, you can see behind me, uh, we are part of uh, Smart Prep, which does preparation courses for universities and schools. And there, we I will put the past papers on there. So there'll be a link in there, and uh, you can then buy the past papers so you don't have to um, uh, listen to me reading each time. Uh, and you can, if you want to, just do the past papers by yourself. And if you're not sure, um, there'll be memos there as well. And if you're still not sure, you can watch the video. So uh, that should help you. Now, one range of such devices is the research into batteries that charge and discharge faster. 
Another is building capacitors that have more storage ability. Okay, so we know that's not first. Uh, many of the latest and most innovative inventions focus on what seems to be many, what seems to many to be the most pressing issue of our time. Okay, so this looks like it could be one of the first ones. I'm just going to put a little one there. Um, if the the, it therefore comes as no surprise that the recognition for the innovation internationally has begun to emphasize devices that meet this challenge. Okay, so that's in the middle somewhere. Um, so I'm going to just go with three for now. Uh, the research is motivated by the realization that batteries and capacitors are keys to the reduction of CO2 since they store re non-renewable, store renewable energy. The research is motivated by the realization of both batteries and capacitors. Okay, so that looks like could be the fourth or fifth one. Uh, that seems to be uh, towards the end. This is the challenge of global warming and specifically the need to reduce CO2 emissions associated with fossil fuels. Okay, so this is near the front. Um, one range of devices is research into batteries that charge. Okay, so batteries, these and these are together. Um, one range of such devices research into batteries that charge and discharge faster. And then this one, the research is motivated by the realization that both batteries and okay, so this one comes before these. All right, so uh, this is quite tricky for uh, people who are, are not first language English speakers. Um, the good news is that if you do, this is um, quite a small part of the paper. So if you really do struggle with these, um, I would go on to the uh, next sections. But um, yeah, it just takes a little bit of time and then you read through and you check if it makes sense. Okay, so many, let's now read it in the order that we think it is. Many of the latest and most innovative inventions focus on what seem to be, to many, to be the most pressing issue of our time. This is the challenge of global warming and specifically the need to reduce the CO2 emissions associated with fossil fuels. It therefore comes as no surprise that the recognition for innovation internationally has begun to emphasize devices that meet this challenge. The research is uh, for one range of such devices is the research into batteries that charge and discharge faster. Another is building capacitors that have more storage ability. The research is motivated by the realization that both batteries and capacitors are keys to the reduction of CO2 since they store renewable energy. Okay, so there we go. Um, so now that makes a lot more sense. Um, for those of you going, how did we do that? Um, well, one of the things is to look for words, keywords that will um, uh, give you an idea that the uh, sentences are next to each other. Um, and then the other thing is that you know the first one is you can get the first one by just looking at the first three or four words. So let's look at what I did there. So 
one range of such devices, right? Well, that's clearly not the first one, right? So you can rule that out. Uh, B, many of the latest and most innovative inventions. Okay, so that kind of looks like it could be the number one. That's why I put that, many of the latest, because it's not a, uh, it doesn't seem to follow on from something. It therefore comes as no, as no surprise. This is definitely not the first sentence. The research is motivated. So now we talk about the, that they're referring to the research. So that can't be the first one. And then this is the challenge. So you could see then you able to get the first sentence just by looking and seeing that in the four other sentences, they refer to something else. Okay. From there, we then have to now go into um, look at the other four um, and then we see that the challenge of global warming. This is the challenge of global warming and specifically the reduce. So now we're talking about now they're bringing in a challenge. Okay, so first of all, they talk about issues that are pressing, right? So many of the latest and most innovative inventions focus on what seems to be to many to be the most pressing issue of our time. So what is the most pressing issue of our time? Global warming. This is the challenge of global warming. So now we get our sentence number two. It therefore comes as no surprise that we need to innovate, right? So that's obviously the third one. Now the fourth one is, well, how do we innovate? Batteries and capacity. So that's how we got this. Um, a was the fourth one. And then finally, uh, the research is motivated by the realization that both batteries and cattle are key to the reduction of CO2. So this had to be five because it's referring to the batteries and the capacity. Okay, so now we just simply go and we mark our answers down. So if we scroll down, we, well, let's just write it down so that we don't have to scroll up and down the whole time. So we had B, uh, B, E, C, D, no, B was C, was the last one. And A, so B, E, C, A, D. Okay. Okay, and then you would just circle them uh, there. I'm not going to worry too much. So you're going to go B, E, C, A, D. B, E, C, A, D. You would circle the correct answer. Um, or if you're doing it online, you would just check the correct answer. Okay, so that's the first section. Um, the next section is vocabulary knowledge. Now, so that first section is usually a tricky one, but it actually does get easier um, after you've done it a few times. It's the, the, with, with these English questions, the first time you do it, um, you kind of look and go, oh, see what's going on. But you'll find when we do paper two, three, the scramble text suddenly becomes easier because you, you, you're getting used to the style of question, which you probably haven't seen before. So, uh, yeah, um, I will see you for the next video where we'll be going on to vocabulary knowledge. And um, I'll also just talk you through the uh, English uh, AQL test and what to expect. But yeah, hopefully that helped. Uh, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.